great day today. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your day is going well. <sighs> Have you gotten through your week? Are you over the Christmas slump? Are you ready to tackle on the new normals of the day? Whatever that normal may be for you. It's important just to keep going and just go, okay, what do I need to do today? Focus on that. Have a little bit of purpose and plan for your day. And then you achieve those goals and you go, okay, I feel like I did something today. Then go ahead and sit and relax. And then go ahead and scroll. And then go ahead and enjoy time with your kids or your spouse or whatever it is you enjoy doing. So today for me, it is going to be a decorate with me. So I don't mean decorate. Like, like I've been seeing people's YouTube videos and they're already decorating for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, I should get in the decorating realm. And I'm like, no, I should not. <laughs> We took down all our Christmas decorations this week. You saw that. And I left up a few, like up here you'll see. But I need to, and I usually go straight boom into like spring mode and just put my greenery out. And the kids are like, it's still winter time, Mom. I'm like, I know, but it, it isn't really like we've been to the park this week. It's been 50, 55 degrees. Yesterday it was 59 degrees. So for me, it doesn't feel very wintry. Like I know that we are still, it's still January. So it's, it's, we're still in the midst of it, but I decided to do like half and half. So I went through my bin downstairs in the garage that has some of my summery spring, not summery. I, well, I keep the same ones up for the summer that I do the spring, but some of my springy summer decorations. And I'm like, let me pull those up for that I can still use. And I'll leave some of them in there. And then we'll keep some of our greenery. I should have kept the pine cones. I didn't keep that, but I was like, that's okay. We kept a few things up and I'll show you that today. So we're going to do a, a summer slash early spring decorate with me. And then also I said cook with me, but it's not really cooking with me. It's pulling freezer meals out because I still have a lot of freezer meals. I'm going to try to use up what we have before I do a huge shopping haul for the month. I'll probably plan some freezer meals for sure when these are all gone, but I would like to use up what we have just because it's good to do that once a year, twice a year. I typically do that like in the winter and then again in the summer just to kind of use up what we have so that we don't have a lot lost in our freezer. People are always like, do you do like a plan so that you know what you have? I'm like, no, I'll usually typically go through and go, oh, I have to use this up or oh, I have to use that up and we'll kind of use those things up, you know, based on the, the needs of the month or whether I want to clean up the freezer or not, or we just keep adding to it and then eventually Eventually we use it up. It's nothing goes to waste. Typically nothing goes to waste around here. There's been a few things, but not often that they do. And so I'm like, I have freezer meals. I pulled out some chicken orzo soup, freezer soup that I put together. I just have to cook that in the stove and I've got some bread bowls for that. And then I pulled out sausage, red beans and rice. We can have that in the pressure cooker. Easy, just easy things, easy things. So it'll be a cook with me, but it'll be a heat up meal with me today. So we're gonna do some decorating, <sighs> decorating. I don't mean like, just setting up making that place look a little more homier and some things that I'm gonna change that I've noticed that don't make my life good. So you, when you, you evaluate, the new year is a good time to evaluate things. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's gonna be a plan with me. Think how I like reevaluate things in my, my life that I wanna change. I do this typically twice a year in the new year and then also right before school starts, just a good time to reevaluate things and see how, you know, things you need to change in your life. So watch that tomorrow. But for today, it's kind of the decorating mode upstairs here. Things I wanna change out that I'm gonna move around. So you guys are getting ready for our day? All right, we're gonna do a little decorate and heat the freezer meals up with me today. So, all right, let's get going with our day. All right, having freezer meals on hands have been a lifesaver. It just helps for those days like today where I just wanted more sit and relax. Like yesterday we'd made meals, but today it was nice just to pull a couple out of the freezer and just put them in some pots and heat them up. You don't have to live off of freezer meals, but it sure is nice when you have them. This is my chicken orzo soup. Basically it's chicken and some veggies and some uh, chicken broth in there. And we'll just heat that up and then I'll add the orzo pasta later on. And this is our sausage, red beans, and rice. This is my kid's favorite. It's kind of like chili base with sausage in it. I've evolved it over the years, but they like it. Most of them like them. I have one that does not. I think Steven at one time got sick on it when he was like sick with like stomach issues. <laughs> so every time he has it, he's like, remember when I threw up on that? I'm like, oh yeah. So we don't usually force that, that on him. So I like to use the back burner because sometimes when you heat things up and you put it on the the gas like that it'll um, burn the bottom so I put it in the back so that I can heat it up without scorching the pan and throw my stuff in the trash all right we're gonna start decorating now so this little thing I got at Walmart this year I think it was ten dollars and I'm like this is really cute let heaven and nature sing and it's just got some greenery in it we decided to leave the things up there on the top 
It's got the Christmas tree, but it doesn't, it has more nature stuff on it. The girls are like, yeah, mom, leave it up there. So, and this is our homeschool area. I feel like it's just a mess homeschool area, but you know what? We do this every day. It's part of life. It's just one of those things to have. I don't really have an extra cupboard for that. There's my lotion. <laughs> I wash out my hands constantly in the kitchen and through the winter. I'm like, I need lotion. So grandma bought us some lotion. So these are just our school books. I've got a box with um, Lysol spray and Kleenexes and hand cleaner, pencils, all that good stuff. So this is what it looks like. There's the candles all lit up. Do you ever really put those candles on? No but it sure does look nice. So, all right, moving over here. This little corner of our kitchen, this has got the ice machine and the air fryer, and then I have this little shelf right here. Now, I had all my essential oils into a little container over here, but I decided to put them in here. This is kind of like a spot that I don't really use. It's got the other side I do. Look, at it's got like rust in the bottom from scrubbies and that. I tried getting out, but it doesn't always come out. So this will be a great place to hold this because I use these for cleaning. The other side has our sponges, and this just holds lighters. Yes, I have a hoarding problem with lighters. <laughs> so I used to have this stuff in there, but I decided to put this in a basket over here because I have so many. So it's all our wax melts and little um, oil things, and that goes in my hallway closet. So now back to this. I guess that basket doesn't have to be there, but it's just nice having it. So if we go, oh, where's the lighter at? There it is. So we're putting this up here, the little red one. I had bought this because I had a red coffee pot at one time, and so it kind of gave a nice balance to the coffee pot in there. Brooklyn said, get some greenery out, Mom, and pine cones, and get the red berries out. It's always trying to shove it. It's like, where's it going to fit? Where's it going to fit? So I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, it looks a little bit too... Like too much busy with the candle there so isn't that funny how you just stare at something for a while and go oh no this doesn't work so we got this candle after christmas i thought it was going to be in the 50 percent off for christmas because it's a christmas candle but it was not i'm like walmart are you really going to sell that in january with the other stuff no but it's okay we got it so just put some the pine cones and that in here this is good just simple and easy a little more plain there we go I got a lot of candles this year, so I'm going to try to use them up because I do like candles. That looks good enough here. And I got these candles. These are from Catherine. Catherine's candles. She gave me these at Chris. I think it was right before Christmas time she sent them. They smell so good, I can't wait to burn them. So that'll be right there. My little shelf next to my stove. I think that looks good. So then I was like, do I slide it over? And I kind of like it more centered that way. And then I was like, does that look good? No, let's just put it back towards that because it's better to have that space over on the side because that's where we'll put like bananas and extra food. All right, this is the corner over by my sink. Over here I had one of my fall decorations. It was like, I don't know if it was like cinnamon sticks or what, but it like got all over the countertop and stained it like a reddish brown color. So I'm just using the magic eraser to get rid of it. Magic erasers are the best. Someone told me about melamine erasers. You can get like a pack of 100 for $10 on Amazon. So I don't know if you need some magic erasers, go look on Amazon for melamine kind. So this I thought, let's hang this up on the wall and see how this looks over here. A little greenery inside. The birch candles. I love birch trees. We have those up in Michigan. I really love birch trees. I only see them, I don't see them here very often, but I was like, oh, I love the birch trees. Remember the paper trees as a kid? You'd pull all the, the paper off them. I think the Indians used to use them to make, I don't know, canoes out of them or something or to ride on. But I remember birch trees. And then here we've got a lantern. Stick that back over there. I think that's good right there. I just had to turn my candles around so the, the seams weren't in front. Easy little corner. And there it is, lit up with the little candles. Now we're gonna do this corner over here. Just make sure everything, this is where I have like my phone and all that stuff. Now there's my, oh, there's my battery charger for my camera. I had it over there. But I decided to move it to this place over here just because I change out my batteries an awful lot. 
but I had it next to the sink. Well, there have been a few times where I'm like, eh, water on the battery. So I'm gonna put those back over here where it's safer. All right, this little corner, I decided to put my, it's not really corner, corner, yeah, it is a corner, right? It's corner, it's corner edge of my kitchen. But this little three tier tray, this I took out as much as I'm like, do I use this? I, like those three tier trays are so great. Like I had a stain, uh, like the rustic metal one, but I just got rid of it because I'm like, it looks great, but I in reality never use it. But this thing I do use. I do like having this. I got it at Hobby Lobby a few years ago on clearance, but it holds all of our cloth napkins and then hides kind of like the cords for the, the um, Google Home, things like that. So I like to put that over here because we just moved our napkins to the drawer during the Christmas you know, season. I'm like, the kids are like, where's the napkins? I'm like, I know. These are the greatest napkins. Lauren and I made some, some, but I cut them way too small and they shrunk up and I didn't sew the edges and eh, they were good for a little bit. But I got these after Christmas last year. They're Pioneer Women. They were like $1.50 for four of them. Where normally they were priced a lot more. So I bought a bunch and they have been working great. I can see replacing them maybe like next year. They'll get pretty worn, but this works. We use these all the time. And over here, I put my Google Home back. I had it next to the, in the living room, but it's nice having it over here. And now the cord hanging down is for my lights up on top. So if I can kind of finagle the cords and stick them back here so you don't really see them, you know, because you want the, because everybody stares at this corner of my kitchen. <laughs> cords. Wouldn't it be nice to have like wireless devices? I mean, I know it's not good for you, but to not have cords, ugh, that'd be my favorite thing in life. I'm trying to shove the cords back here. And this is my um, charger for my phone, and it's like specific, I have a Google Pixel, so I put that up here because it charges my phone quickly. And I like to have it on hand, so that goes here. So here's a little shelf, I'm like, okay. It stores what it needs to on top. And then I'm looking over here on my table for some things, so I thought, well, let's put a couple decorations. I'll put my faith and my little succulent over there. That's just simple. And that'll work right there and that one's done and then I'm like hmm what else can I put over here now this corner I have my phone and my phone holder that Greg made for me got my little lantern got lots of lanterns little um, cake pedestal this is nice to put things on because I do always have like sticky notes in my to-do list and if I put them on the counter the countertop sometimes they get wet and ruined so it's kind of nice to have that up there so that's kind of what it's a holder it holds it up higher my phone and my sticky notes and I did put a little um, plant over there just a little greenery it's not the pine cone trees but it's green to remind me that spring is coming so this is my corner it works good right there like it and here's some lunch is going here my soup it's ready it's boiling so i just added orzo pasta i only added about a fourth of a box and then i forgot when i came back it doesn't get very big so i actually added the rest of it so the half of that box i would add into that soup i was used to the noodles that we had for a long time there and those just get a lot bigger and then this is my corner by my computer desk so i have another little plant there this little thing sometimes you go in spurts for decorating i had this little beaded thing and it was in my bedroom I'm like where am i going to put it but it's good to switch it up and move things around and i got another faith ball there just easy my desk i work over here all day long it's not it doesn't look clear and nothing because i work there everything is here that i need got my little candle there got my little sticky notes just my little corner here this reminds me of my faith and our love built this happy home and then these things, these things Matthew made me for Christmas a couple years ago. I love them. So I just put the greenery back in them and left it. And here's our ladder shelf over here. This is my wax burner I got for Christmas. I wanted to put it in my living room somewhere, but I'm like, where do I put it? So I thought over here would be nice because I don't have to worry about it burning anything. So I'm going to turn it on and see how it, it works. But it does work because I put the same wax melts that I had in that plug-in one in the wall. And it smells so much better. So this was a espresso coffee smelling kind and it smells really good so i've got this here my blessed sign i think i got that at big lots a couple little decorations here you know always setting things out you're staring and you're like well it looks good i don't know and you step back and look a bunch of times so i thought well let me add a little the i say christmasy wintry so there's just some um the little berries that we had it's like a little circular wreath and i put some pine branches in it should hide my cord here i should like zip tie it to the side but i don't really care that much so i'll just let it hang but this is it for the corn over here really easy simple and our 
basket of um, blankets. And there it is with the light off. Easy. This is great. Love our little um, wax melt thing. I was trying to get the lighting to work here, but it was not cooperating with me. Great little things. Thank you for the suggestion. You guys told me to get one of them, so we got them. I got a little tables here. These work really good for to have with coasters. I got these coasters at, I think, Walmart and Clearance. They're wintry ones, so just a little plant and a lantern. Easy. We keep these simple because the kids put drinks on them and they put their little game devices on them, so not too much on them, but at least you can put something on the tables. And then this one over here, another coaster. I think they're pine trees. A little um, glass thing with a candle, my cord, it plugs in the wall, and then that one actually, you can plug devices into the back, like USB cords, which is really good. So inside are all the extra cords. The kids are like, where are my cords? So usually I confiscate them and put them inside this drawer right here. There's my little coaster. So there's extra extension cords and phone cords and tablet chargers, and there's a timer. That's what I stick in that drawer and they can just plug them into the back. So this works good because everybody sits here and eats. And there's a living room. Now my couch, I just kept these three pillows on there and then I took um, cushion, the covers off the other ones and kept them in my closet. And then I ordered more covers. I'm trying to order them every season. It's cheapest, it's like $10 for two of them and they work great. I ordered the same brand. They should come, they're more like a bluish egg color. So I'm anxious to see the color of what I actually got. We'll find out when it comes. It has free returns. So those will be here this week. And here's another little table. Turn the lights on so you can see. Adjust the camera. <laughs> Always got to check these things. Another coaster. I keep them simple because the kids, like I said, just sit and have their drinks on it and right next to the table. And there, I've had this tag on here since I bought it and you would think I would have cut it off a long time ago. Never have. So every time I make it, I'm like, I need to hide the tag. Just cut it off. This just has a blue candle in it, really easy. Just simple, this is what we keep is simple and easy. Nothing on them because they just get knocked off. The kids usually, I've had things knock off of that and break. I found this little house that says, let's get cozy. It's wood, so if it breaks, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna break because it's wood, but that works. Let's get cozy, there we go. Cute, definitely get cozy on the couch. Okay, the mantle. Ugh, does anybody else struggle with the mantle? Decorating the mantle, I feel like, I. I don't know. I could do this 10,000 times over and not have it. Probably simple is the best way to go. So I tried to just put a few things. I've got those candle scones. Isn't that what they're called? I thought, let me put those up there. I like to have like words and scriptures, things that I hang on my wall. I like in the Bible how it talks about writing them on your doorpost, you know, the words that you want to teach to your kids. And so just want to always remind my kids that we're thankful, grateful, and blessed this little metal tin I had outside but I put some greenery sticks that I got this year at Walmart here's good candles so we just put that up there nothing too crazy lots of candles lots of candles so I like stared at them like what do I do so I decided to change out the lanterns the taller one because I feel like you needed something a little bit taller on that side and just put the small one down there that works I don't know, maybe I should have something. Maybe I need like a whole, I need a Pinterest looking day of decorating the mantle. But that's okay, that's what I ended up doing right there. And then I have a big lantern here. I think I bought that at Home Goods. I had a coupon or a gift card. I bought a couple big ones, so that works. And Maxine's little bed there. Always picking up bacon balls. Kids move the chair against the wall, you know, always get to move that back. So that works right there. Just simple and easy. And then I just exchange, so I just have a smaller lantern over there. And then we've got in the kitchen here, what are we doing out here? We are candles. I was like, what do I have in my hand? A candle. Because I see them now and I'm like, I need to burn them. So this is my cookie one, cookie shortbread one. They were like $5 at Walmart Christmas. They smell so good. So if I keep my lighters where they go, we never have to worry about them. I've got my little remotes there for my candle. So I put those in that same little basket. So I always know where they are. All right, now 
there's an extra one, so I'm like, where is this gonna go? So I just put that next to my, on my little pedestal there. Just need to use them up, that's all. That'll be my goal this year. All right, now we're gonna go to the table. Another thing that's decorating, so I'm just gonna move everything off the table. Clean it all up. This is my table runner, but it's all wrinkly. I washed it. I don't think you're supposed to wash them, but I guess if you wash them, you have to iron them. Oh, this I got up here. This I kept the same. That looks wintry enough. So I pulled out the handy trusty iron. Yes, you know, I love ironing. No, I do not. I think Lauren picked it up at Goodwill for me for the kids' melty beads. So I'm just going to try to iron this a little bit. It's kind of like it pulled a little bit when it, so it's not super smooth. So like you'll be able to see when I'm doing it, it leaves like a couple spots where it's wrinkly, but it works. It's better than nothing. Does anybody have one job that they don't like to do? Mine would be ironing. I mean, I can't say I don't like it. I just choose not to do it. Not an ironer, Not not that's not me, but now at least it's straight, so you can see they have a couple pleats on the side where, but that's okay. If I find another one, I'll get another one. That was I got it at Dollar Tree for cheap. I'm gonna put these lanterns in there on the sides, and then this in the middle. And I was like, what else do I put on here? And I think I've got a couple pine cones. There we go. Looking around, like, what else do I put on? And that works, just simple and easy. Doesn't take a lot, just something to put out. All right, going back to my window, I had this little blessed one. I can th think I got that at, Ho I don't even know if I got that at Hobby Lobby or where I got it at, but I was looking and I'm like, hmm, what can I do with this? So I decided to stick it up in my window. My curtains, they're still wrinkly, like I bought those, what, last year? And I was like debating, do I iron them, put the steam iron up there? Nah, I'll just leave them wrinkly. <laughs> that works. So here we go, here's all the remainder of what it looks like. All good, just simple and easy. And that's gonna be my decorate with me. It's not really decorating, it's just kind of putting a few things out. All right, this is gonna be our soup today. Here is our bread bowls, here is our soup. Ooh, look at that heat, let me get a spoon. Oh yeah, look at this, will be delicious. That's it, chicken orzo soup. Simple and easy, very good. The kids all love it. So we will have this inside the bread bowl. We will cut, kind of peel, or peel out the middle of it, pull out the middle of it, and then put the soup in it. And that'll be lunch. Dinner, this is dinner. This is a freezer meal. It's sausage, red beans, and rice. Well, sausage and red beans. I'm gonna make the rice to put it over. This is easy, look at it. We're just gonna take this and put it over top of some rice. I'll put that in the pressure cooker later on today. So. This will be easy. Lunch and dinner are done for the day. Food is finished. If you can get your things done early, then you can enjoy the rest of the day doing something you love. I just heated up on my low small burner so that it didn't stick on the bottom, and I think that was a wise choice. If I had more people that I had to feed, I would add another can of chili beans or pinto beans, but we don't have, it's just the six kids and myself here, and maybe Greg later. So there's plenty of food here for a dinner. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of a cook and decorate with me. It wasn't really cook, it was more like heat, a, reheat, not really reheat, heat and decorate with me. Can I call it that? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Just some little things I did this week. Keeping it short, just something a little bit different, just so I give myself a break. It's been a good week to be able to do that, to kind of, you know, focus and think about, pray about things that I wanted, um, that the Lord wants me to do and just, uh, it's been good. So this is going to be the end of our video. And you know, at the end of the video, I've been reading scripture. So for those of you that don't want to watch it, that's totally fine. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. But for those of you that are going to stay, we're going to read, we're reading Psalm 
four today. So I'm reading from the Amplified version. I just like this version. I read my Bible from the ESV version, but I got this as a gift and I'm loving the Amplified version. So we're gonna read Psalm four. It's evening prayer of trust in God. This was um, to the chief musician on a stringed instrument, a Psalm of David. I won't sing because I don't sing. <laughs> but it says, answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. I love it, he's like yelling it, answer me, it's all in caps. You have freed me when I was hemmed in and relieved me when I was in distress. Does God free you? He does. Did God re relieve you? I like that. Be gracious to me and hear and respond to my prayer. O oh, sons of men, how long will my honor and glory be turned into shame? It's like sometimes you think things are just not going to go, but we're going to keep going. How long will you, my enemies, love worthless things like vain, futile things and seek deception and lies? Like people do that, right? People of the world. I mean, people that are even Christians do that and they seek that. You don't want that. But know that the Lord has set apart for himself and dealt wonderfully with the godly man, the one of honorable character and moral courage, the one who does right. You gotta do what's right, that's the key, right? The Lord hears and responds when I call to him. That's what you want, when you want the Lord to hear your prayers, you want him to respond to your prayers. That's what we want, right? Verse four, tremble with anger or fear and do not sin. You might have some anger, we do have anger, right? We can have anger and we can have fear, but we don't want it to control us. We don't want to sin. We don't want it to get to the point where it comes out of our hearts. You know, God, it's, it, people deal with that. We get angry with things in the world, right? That's normal. We can get fearful, but as soon as we let that get settled like a seed in our heart, that's when it's wrong. We don't want to sin. Meditate in your heart upon your bed and be still. Reflect on your sin and repent of your rebellion. And that's true, right? Like when you're going through something, you've got anger, in your heart, you know, sometimes you might have someone talk to you and you just go, oh, you get so mad, you know, immediately. The key is not to let that seed grow inside of you. Immediately go and say, Lord, and you can tell, I'm angry. He knows that. God, I'm mad. I'm, I have hatred toward this person. I have such anger and frustration. But then don't let that grow. Immediately go, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for that. I don't want to carry that burden. I don't want to carry that weight inside of me. Forgive me for having these thoughts. Take that away. Cleanse me. Get it out. Show me unconditional love for that person no matter what. That's what you got to do. That's the key. And you want to do it right then. Not days from now. Not years from now. Not weeks from now. I mean, we've done that, right? We've all done that. You want to do that right away. The, 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 the smart one, the wise one will do it, boom, right away. Go in the bathroom, take a few minutes, right away, right away. That's the key, it gets it out. Once it starts growing, it grows those roots out of any of you garden, like pulling weeds out and roots of things, they're pretty long and they go deep and they attach to other things. We don't want that in our lives. You want it immediately plucked out of you, immediately, because you don't want any of that growing inside of you. All right, keep going, Amy. Offer righteous sacrifices, trust, confidently in the Lord trust when you offer the sacrifices when you're you're doing things and you're giving and you're trusting Lord trust confidently trust that God will get you through that you got that anger trust confidently that God will save that person and get them through that trust be confident many are saying oh that we might see some good lift up the light of your face upon us O Lord you have put joy in my heart more than others know when their wheat and new wine have yield abundantly. In peace and with a tranquil heart, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety and confident trust. This is a great thing at nighttime. Yesterday we did the morning prayer. This is a great thing at nighttime. When you go to sleep, you deal with not sleeping at night. Take this psalm and read it. You know, we wanna know that we dwell in the Lord. Our safety is in Him. We have to use His wisdom to do things right, and we have to confidently trust and cast all our cares and anxieties on Him and not worry about the cares of the world for ourselves. We're putting it all on Him. I like this. All right, so that's Psalm 4. You guys can read that if you wanna read it again. Read through it today. Get that set deep inside of you. Read it at night. It's a good thing to keep going over. So, all right. So I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And we're going to see you guys again tomorrow. Hopefully your day's got a little bit more, I don't know, encouragement to make freezer meals. 
or to decorate your house or to take down some Christmas to put some up. I don't know. Hopefully those words at the end gave you some encouragement. So I will see you guys again tomorrow for another video. It's going to be a plan with me. My plans for the new year. I don't really have plans, but things I want to change in my life. So I'm going to share that tomorrow. So you have a fantastic rest of your day and we're going to see you tomorrow. All right. We'll see you. Bye.